introduce it. The myth, the legend, Lady Love's couture, Lady Heroin, whatever you want to call her. Wife to the legendary Steve Harvey. The fabulous, legendary Miss Marjorie Harvey. Yeah. Yes, come through, Queen. Marjorie Elaine Harvey was born in Memphis, Tennessee to parents Doris Bridges, her white mother, an African-American father whose name she prefers not to mention, which is very strange, but we're going to come back to that. She was raised with a brother who is also unknown, which is another strange fact. Marjorie was born October 10th, 1964. She is 56 years young because mama is looking good. She is a Libra for all you Zodiac fans. Personality traits. Libras are known for being charming, beautiful, and well-balanced. They thrive on making things orderly and aesthetically pleasing. They also crave balance, and they can be equally as self-indulgent as they are generous. Libras are also the kings and queens of compromise, and they like making peace between others. I definitely see those personality traits in Miss Marjorie, especially the aesthetic part. Mama can dress her behind off. Mama came to slay all day. She don't play. And I would say she is definitely charming. If you've ever seen this woman on the Steve Harvey show, she will charm men, women, little kids, everybody. She is a cutie pie. She attended the University of Memphis. She did not complete her program there. However, Marjorie's rebellious nature is what made her drop out of the university. Marjorie's first marriage was to Jim Townsend, a drug kingpin. There were rumors he was 23 years older than her. She was 19, and that would have made him 42 at the time of their marriage. He was sentenced to life in prison and served 26 years before getting released in 2017 after being pardoned by President Obama. Marjorie was never charged with a crime, although Townsend reported that the agents on his case believed that they had substantial evidence of Marjorie's illegal activities. They said this in a bid to force his cooperation with them. Marjorie divorced Jim less than five years into his sentence. She had her first two kids with him, Morgan and Jason. This is the beautiful Morgan. Aww. And that's the handsome Jason. In 2019, Jim published a tell-all memoir about his marriage to Marjorie and their run-ins with the law. Jim would tell how Marjorie was his accomplice in the drug business in the book. Okay, now you guys, I can't find this book anywhere. If anybody know where I can find this book, please put it in the comment section down below. My thoughts is Steve paid him off to not write this book to save what's left of his wife's reputation, honey. You would think that Steve has done enough by getting a man out of jail, but, you know, now that he's out of jail, he's like, I got to find a way to support myself. I got to sell this story, you know. Um, so, yeah. Now, again, please, if anybody has this book, please comment down below. Marjorie's second marriage was similar to her first. She married Donnell Woods, a drug kingpin, after she split with Jim Townsend. In 2001, Donnell was caught in illegal activity, which promptly led to Marjorie divorcing him. Marjorie retained the Woods surname and has a daughter with him by the name of Lori. Lori was born January 13th. 1997 and she is gorgeous much like her mother hey Lori hey you guys you remember earlier when I said Miss Marjorie does not mention her father's name in the media why do you think that is 
If you can guess, put it down in the comment section. My guess is daddy was probably into some shady business back in the day too. If you was to Google his name, some dirt will most likely pop up. You see, Mama White, so Mama name was probably protected. She was her whiteness may have shielded her from being drugged through the media. So it's okay for the world to know Mama name, but she, she got to protect her daddy name. Now you know she has this missing brother that she grew up with, whom she also does not mention. There's no photos of him. There's no trace of the brother. We still don't know what happened to the brother. Now I'm going to show you a video of Marjorie and her mother and their dynamic. You know, what she could have possibly learned from her mother. Possibly been into some illegal business back in the day, which is why she chooses the men that she chooses. And mama is teaching her to get her a rich man. You see the connection? You see, I believe Marjorie was raised to be how she is. Get you a rich man. It doesn't matter how he makes his money. Legal, illegal, who cares? I'm going to do a video called Like Mother, Like Daughter and show you the dynamic between Marjorie and her daughters. Yeah, um, I don't know if y'all remember but there was a rumor going around saying that Marjorie married, that her husbands were cousins. But doing my research, I found that to not be true. Her first husband did an interview with um, the Lionel B show. It's, you can find an interview on YouTube. It's called the Lionel B show. Just type in Marjorie Harvey. And he did an interview stating that they're not related. But the T is Marjorie actually dated her second husband's brother. So that's where that came from. That's how that got misconstrued and, you know, all screwed up. So, yeah, her husbands were not are not related, but she did date her second husband's brother before dating and marrying him. Okay, try to keep it straight. <laughs> Ooh, child. Marjorie, girl, you are a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Ooh, talk about a real life soap opera. You are a hot ass mess. Cute, though. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, they ain't got nothing on you. I am scared of you, child. Now here's Miss Marjorie with her favorite rapper. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all remember back in the day when Steve used to hate rappers, when he used to do stand-up comedy? He used to say, I hate them stank-ass rappers. Now he married to a woman that loves rappers and drug dealers, and his daughter loves them too. Now you see, Steve is really not Marjorie's type. Steve money is Marjorie's type. But Steve's personality is really not. You see. Now I'm going to show y'all a clip of Marjorie talking about when her and Steve first met. Marjorie first met back in 1990. But they didn't get together because Steve didn't have the kind of money that Marjorie requires her men to have. He was doing stand-up comedy. And my guess is he pursued her relentlessly. But she passed on him. And she met her second husband, Darnell, and had Lori in 97. Now, you see, Marjorie got in contact with Steve through a friend of his back in 2006. At the time, Steve was still married to his second wife. So this is 16 years after they first met. So he would have to date her and get to know her while he's still married to his second wife because he divorced his second wife 
and married Marjorie in 2007. He married Marjorie about a month after he did, his, divorce, his divorce was finalized from his second wife. Now, you know who married somebody in a month? Come on. Now, you see, Marjorie married Steve, got him to adopt all her children and give them his last name so they don't have to grow up under the scrutiny of their father's last name like she had to grow up under the scrutiny of her father's last name. You see? Mm, mm, mm. She is gorgeous, though. I feel bad for Steve's second wife. She didn't have a chance. <sighs> but tell me what y'all think. Comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.